Hello, my name is Kyle Bagley. I'm the owner and CEO of a company called Groove Dynasty based right here in Shanghai. First, want to say thank you very much to IMX for having me today. Really great to see everyone's presentations and I'm really excited to introduce my company for you here. Groove Dynasty is a music marketing and social media services company. Essentially, we help artists, DJs, record labels, and other parties reach their market and expand their fan base right here in China. The main ways that we do that are through social media management, help with content creation, campaign planning, and other promotion work using Chinese platforms. To introduce myself, I'm originally from the US. I've been living and working here in China for almost eight years. My staff here listed on the right are each experts in their own field and tackling, tackling different parts of the industry and the work that we do. I assume everyone here is watching because they have some interest or experience in the music industry in China, but just to give you a, a quick introduction, I consider China to be the fastest growing music market in the world. As you know, it's number seven in terms of global recorded music revenues. That is on the rise year over year and shows no signs of slowing down. Despite the promise laid out in, the, in those slides, China remains a very difficult market to enter for a lot of people. Even artists who have a lot of fans here or, or can make a lot of money in the country will find difficulty in really reaching and engaging with their fan base, growing their brand here in China, and navigating other political or cultural intricacies of the market. Our main work here is centered around the Chinese platforms. This includes the, the DSPs or music streaming platforms, video platforms including short video and long form video, and other social media and messaging apps. I'll tell you a little bit about these apps uh, now just to go through a bit about what we do and how they could help you. I would say probably the most important thing to understand about the market in China is that the DSPs are quite different from the rest of the world. There are, two, there are essentially two major competing companies in this space. That would be Netty's Cloud Music and Tencent Music. Tencent Music has their own set of platforms including QQ Music, Kugo Music and others. But these two companies control a vast majority of the market share for music listeners here in China. These apps, however, are not just for listening music. You can really do so much more. Each of them has the capability to do music streaming, video streaming, including live and uploaded videos. You can also have a feed with social posts where you upload your own daily content, including photos, videos, using hashtags, tagging other users, engaging directly with fans, doing giveaways, uploading podcasts and long form audio, and lots and lots of other types of content all combined into one app that really competes a music and media experience for the fan. Because of that, these two apps are some of the most important that you can use when trying to reach your fan base here. So a bit about Netty is they have around 800 million registered users and a, a high percentage of the music that's streamed on the platform is actually from foreign artists. Stereotypically, this is centered around electronic music, but there are also quite a few people who are listening to bands, other artists, and DJs. Tencent Music, especially QQ Music, is most notably known for pop or mainstream music, but I would say the demographic is a bit wider and the number of active users is a bit more than Netty's also. I'm sure you've heard a lot today about Douyin. Douyin is the Chinese counterpart to TikTok. They're actually both owned by the same company, ByteDance but the content and the user bases are completely separate. So Chinese users will only use Douyin. They will only see videos that are uploaded here in China to the Douyin app, whereas users in the rest of the world will only be able to use TikTok and see content that's uploaded to that platform. Very often the licensing deals will cover both. So it's, it's likely that your music if you're going through a distributor is available not only on the DSPs mentioned previously, but also on Douyin and some other platforms here in China. Douyin has around 600 million daily active users, and this is really a great platform for direct fan engagement and promotion of music. It does also support live streams, but the most popular content on the app 
is short video, five to 10 seconds long, that shows off the artist's personality, gives fans better insight into the artist in a more casual sense. I think less people will have heard of Billy Billy, but right now in the music industry, or I would say in the digital landscape of China as a whole, Billy Billy is becoming a very, very important platform. They have around 200 million monthly active users and a particular, particularly large fan base among what I'll call nerd culture, which is gamers, anime, and electronic music fans. It's a great place for music videos, live content, interviews, and other artist content. Ideal content here is uh, usually five to 10 minutes or longer. Some other apps you might've heard of are Weibo and WeChat. These are two of the biggest apps here in China at the moment and cover many different aspects of people's lives, including news, trending topics, and celebrity content. While WeChat is the messaging app used by millions of people every day. I'll break down the services a bit more in a few minutes, but just to give you a quick snapshot of some of the people we're working with, one of our favorite clients to work with and probably one of the biggest electronic music groups in China at the moment is a DJ duo called Vice Tone. They are nearing a million followers on NetEase and QQ Music and have many more on Douyin, Bilibili and other platforms in China. We've been working with Vice Tone for many years. We helped them launch all the way back in 2017, and they've had an amazing journey since. Our work for Vice Tone includes day-to-day -day management of all these platforms, uploading all their photos, videos, status updates, and other content. We also regularly work with them on Q&A sessions for China, giveaways, and promotion of their tracks, which they've had several hit singles, especially in cooperation with the label Monster Cat. We also work with artists and labels on an individual campaign basis. Here's an example of a campaign we did with an artist called Adami, with a track he did for the Chinese New Year called Gongshi Gongshi. The promotion of this track included KOL or influencer placements on many different platforms and a very extensive playlist pitching campaign covering the NetEase and QQ Music DSPs. One campaign that we worked with Vice Tone on was a single called Shadow. This was a campaign focused mainly on Douyin that included original content from the artists, along with other influencers, including dancers and original content creators on the platform. For labels that we work with, we help generate revenue in a lot of different ways, mainly by promoting their releases and really working each individual track in the region. We do this through brand accounts on the platforms we mentioned, also through the company's own playlists, podcasts and social posts. We also assist with local events for each of the brands and labels that we work with. Here's a snapshot of some of our other current clients that we're working with at the moment. To break down a bit more some of the services that we provide, platform setup and registration, mirrored or localized posts. This could be from the artist's own Instagram, Facebook, or other platforms and creating original content including photo, video, and other work that's specifically built for our platforms and focused around Chinese cultural events. Music promotion can include pitching directly to platforms like NetEase and Tencent for their official playlists, banners, or recommended sections within the app, as well as a focus on high traffic third-party playlists, many of which are very difficult to get into without somebody here on the ground managing. As I said before, we also work quite a bit with influencers or KOLs based here in China. This could be on a campaign by campaign basis or more generally to make sure that an artist's content is reaching the right viewers in the right places. And all of this can be supported by targeted post boosting to suit any budget or time period that will fit in with your campaign. If you'd like to have a chat about what we can do for you here in China, please reach out to me anytime. My email is right here on the screen. That's kyle at groovedynasty.cn. Once again, thank you to IMX. Thank you very much to Music Ally and Kanjian for putting this together. I look forward to hearing more from you guys.